Daddy's, Daddy's, what's up? Yo, I was looking at some posts on Facebook that I put up there like six years ago about religion and stuff like that while I was gone. And ain't nothing changed. Shit still, the same shit that was going on when I left is the same shit that's going on when I get back. Trump, fucking coronavirus and everything. Well, the coronavirus wasn't out yet. But I've been looking at how the guys be going off on me. <laughs> you know, like, the, you know, like when I make, when I make uh, comments about Asians, I realize that one of the guys took offense to it because he's married to an Asian. And I'll, I wasn't saying that I'm wrong. I'm just saying if you go in Chinatown, you don't see no other businesses but Asian businesses. And I'm saying the money circulates amongst the Asians. That's all I was saying. When you go into a Jewish neighborhood, you don't see no other businesses because the Jew, the money circulates between the Jews. When you go into an Italian neighborhood, you don't see no other businesses but Italians because the money circulates between the Italians. It's only when you go into a black neighborhood, everybody got a business in a black neighborhood except for black people. He gets mad at me for saying that. And I said that shit five years ago. You go into a black neighborhood, you see Muslim businesses, you see Jewish businesses. I know when I was growing up, you seen Jewish businesses, like the butcher and stuff like that. Uh, the cleaners, the Asians own the cleaners, the Latinos own the corner stores. Even when you go into a Latino neighborhood, you don't see no other businesses but Latino businesses. What am I saying wrong? But they get mad, but he was married to an Asian and he, but even he was like, oh, they got black businesses in Chinatown. I mean, they were saying they got black businesses. They got black businesses in Asia. Well, how's that helping black people in America? Black people in America got the problem. That may be that might be helping black people in over there in Asia, but it ain't it ain't helping black people here in America. Like Claude Anderson used to, like Claude Anderson says, he says black dollars don't bounce in black neighborhoods. Meaning you don't go from one black hand to another black hand to another black hand. It's only when you come into a black neighborhood in America, you don't see no black businesses. I know I've seen a few in like, I can't remember what I've seen a few. <laughs> you see black hair care products. I know in Brooklyn they got, they used to have a, a cow's daughter. But in black neighborhoods, you don't see many black businesses. You see black barbershops and black soul food joints, yeah. But even in, even in Harlem, the soul food joints are owned by Asians. You know, and he get mad at me for that. And then they get mad at me for talking about religion and shit like that, man. God ain't gonna, go, God ain't gonna do shit. Listen, let me go, I'm gonna make another video, I'll be back, all right?